keep in mind before we start, all links are in the description. Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a video desktop using three different methods and how to do that. So check this out. So the first way we have to do this is really simple and it's pretty bootleg. It's with VLC Media Player. So right here I just have the movie file that I want to use as my desktop on my desktop. We're going to open up VLC Movie Player and we're going to click on video on the top tab and just click on set as wallpaper. Keep in mind if you're doing this you're going to want to mute the volume for your video and you will not be able to click on your icons on your desktop. They will disappear and there's nothing you can do about it. But it is a free and pretty bootleg and quick way to do it but everything else will work for you alright so the next program we have is Deskscapes it has a bunch of really nice pre-made backgrounds in it and if you want to add your own you just go to settings go to folders and right in this area you're gonna click on add find the directory that your videos are in that you want to use as your desktop uh, click it in the drop down and press OK and add it I've already added mine so I'm not gonna do that and then you could just scroll down to the bottom or use the search bar on the side to find the media that you've uploaded. There's the movie I did right there. And you could just click apply and you can choose how many monitors you want it on on that same tab if you hit the drop down menu. And there you go. Now you have video as your desktop, custom video that is. And if you go to settings, you can change the quality of the video if your computer is having trouble running it. And also, you can change the transparency and brightness of the video itself. And you, this will m make your icons go invisible or sort of invisible, et cetera, et cetera. You can see when I do this. What the hell? Oh, all right. All right, perfect. Excellent. It actually worked. And so it might just take a second to load. But yeah, this is a really great program. And uh, you might want to try this one out as well. So the last program we have is Push Video Wallpaper, and this is actually a really neat little program. It runs your videos as a playlist, and if you want to add one, you click on that plus button, go to the directory where it is, and add the video, and you could just click on it to start it, and you can shuffle the videos and whatever else, and if your video has sound, you're going to want to make sure you mute it by clicking on that little sound box down there. Uh, you can choose how it interacts with the different displays that you have on this tab right here. If you do decide to use this under settings, I'd suggest checking these two off. What this does is it minimizes it. So when you minimize, it goes next to your time and date instead of being in your active Windows tray or whatever you'd like to call it. The next thing you can do is you can choose how it interacts when you have full screen programs open so your desktop will pause. And just like the other program, you can change the brightness and transparency of your desktop icons. All right, and that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped, and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. You guys have a good one.